Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, it is Friday night. It is the first Friday in September, and we're doing pies this month, y'all. I know I've been on a pound cake kick there for a while, but we kind of switch it up here. You know, we, on Friday nights, I either do a pie or a cake when I get home from work. And tonight, I'm doing one of the easiest pies it is to make. You don't even need a mixer for this, y'all. It's that easy to make. I'm doing my old school pecan pie, but I'm gonna put a little twist on it. I'm gonna put some butternut, butter, butterscotch chips in there and make old school but butternut, butternut, uh, butterscotch pecan pie. I got a lady, Miss Maggie, living in the next block over in the neighborhood. She, this is one of her favorite pies, and I'm making one for her. Also, so I'm actually making two of these, y'all. One for her and one for me, so. Yeah, so that's why I got so many ingredients out here. I'm doubling the recipe. So if y'all see this and you look at the recipe, which is in the description of the video, uh, it just you one time. I'm doing it double time. So let's get started, y'all. Like I said, this is very easy, simple recipe. All right, move this over here and give myself a little space here. I'm going to put my eggs in here first. I got eight eggs. Of course, the recipe calls for four. I'm doubling it, so I'm doing eight. I like to just kind of whip them up a little. Like I said, you can use a, a hand, I mean, an electric mixer, but I'm not going to get my mixer out for this. I like to whip my sugar and the eggs first. Just get them kind of incorporated first. Then I add my syrup, vanilla. Then I add my... Uh, butter right at the end. Kind of mix that up there and get that sugar fully incorporated. Like I say, this is so easy, y'all. Put my syrup in here. Get it all out of there. Make sure I get it all out of there. There we go. Put that in there. Mix the K-Roll syrup in there. You can use dark K-Roll if you want to. I prefer to use the, I prefer to use the light. Okay, the vanilla in here. Put vanilla in there, y'all. See how easy this is, y'all? Don't even need a mixer. That's how easy this is. Now my butter. Last thing, I put my butter in there. And that's it, y'all. The filling is ready. Pecan pie filling is ready. Like I said, y'all, this is the easiest pie to make. Very simple. Okay, put that over there to the side. Get my pie crust here. And I'll pour bake my pie crust, as y'all know, on my pecan pie for like six minutes in the oven. I like to create that barrier between the filling and the, and the, and the crust so I don't get a soggy pie. Now, all I'm going to do, y'all, Put the pecans in there nicely. Go up in there, make sure it's filled all the way around. There we go. Butterscotch chips. Put them in there. Oh, uh, you know this is going to be a good pie, huh? That's it, y'all. All I'm going to do now. Pour my filling in here, y'all. Go. A bit more over there. That's it, y'all. It don't get no easier than that. I'm going to put in the oven 350 degrees, y'all, for one hour. But after 20 minutes, y'all, I like to check the Check the pie and make sure it's not browned too quickly. If it is, all you do is put a little onion foil over the top and cook it another 40 minutes. And I put that in the recipe description of the video. After 20 minutes, check it. If it's getting too dark, just put a little onion foil on the top and let it cook the other 40 minutes off. So we'll be right back, y'all, once this pie is ready. See how easy that is? We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back here. I just took the pie out of the oven. Um, and I'm going to let these set. Y'all know these got to set up 
two, three hours for them to be completely firm. And then I'll cut a piece up and we'll give it a taste. Like I say, you see how easy this pie was? And you know what I did? I, when I put the foil over, it was getting a little dark. Y'all can see here, I'm going to let y'all know. I even I mess up. I didn't put the foil completely over the other side. And the crust got a little darker on the other side. But it doesn't matter. This pie is going to be amazingly good. I love this pie. And my friend, Miss Maggie, she loves it too. This is her favorite pie. Like I say, one is for her. And I'll cut the other one for me to keep here and eat for me. But anyway, uh, like I say, I'm going to step off. I'll be back in about two or three hours. Let one cool off. We'll cut it up and I'll show you how to look in the inside. Amazingly beautiful, delicious pie, y'all. Can't go wrong with butterscotch pecan. Don't get any better than that. If you like chocolate, you can add chocolate chips to this. You can add any kind of chips you want to this. You don't have to use butterscotch. A lot of people like chocolate pecan. Of course, y'all know I don't like chocolate. So... Yeah, I just figured the butterscotch chips would work even better. And they just, which is just amazingly conversation, uh, a conversation, combination. So anyway, I'll be back in a couple hours here. We'll, once it's cool off, and we'll uh, check, check it out. Be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back here. It's three hours later, look at this here, y'all. Look at that nice pie. Look at it close up. You the butterscotch. Don't get no better than this. Butterscotch pecan, y'all. Don't get no better than this. See how pretty this pie is, y'all? Look at that. And y'all saw how simple I put it together. Very easy, very simple. And now for the taste test. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm telling y'all. Butterscotch, and you see my crust is not soggy. That's why I say that I um uh, bake my crust about five to six minutes before I put the filling. That way, it creates a barrier between the filling and the crust, and you don't have a soggy crust. But, like I say, Miss Maggie, she loves this one. She got her grandkids coming over this weekend. That'd be good for her to serve with her, share with her grandkids this weekend. But, y'all, another Friday night cake. I correct myself. Another Friday night pie in the books. It's all about pie this month in September, y'all. And another uh, little housekeeping notes. Now, Friday night pie, some weeks might move to Saturday night pies because if you live in the state of Texas, especially if you live in Katy, Texas, Friday night is not about pies and cakes. Friday night is about high school football here in the state of Texas. So I'll be attending the Katy football games every Friday. So I'll move my Friday night pie or cake session to Saturday if, Friday, if Katie happened to play on Friday, which they do 75% of their games, if, if they do, I'll just move the cake session or pie session to Saturday. And this will go all the way to January when we win us another state championship game. So, anyway, just want y'all to know that if you don't see a Friday, pie, Friday cake of the week or a Friday pie of the week on a Saturday morning, it'll be Sunday morning because I'm, it'd be a at the football game, watching my Katy Tigers. So anyway, just a little housekeeping note so y'all know what's going on. So anyway, like I say, this is a very simple pie, very quick. The longest, the hardest part of this pie is waiting till it's set up in the fridge where you can cut it and the filling sets up. But a perfect pie, easy pie, get you some, you know, it's very, really cheap pie. Pecans, you know, could be costly, but if you get pecans at the farmer's market, it's a little bit cheaper. So anyway, let me close this video. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. I read all comments and I respond to every comment as you see. A lot of people don't do that. Uh, please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag this year? 
like I'm doing with this pie for Miss Maggie that I got in my refrigerator for her and why I made too. Just help somebody old school soul food. This will bright. This gonna brighten her day. She don't even know the pie is coming. It don't cost me nothing. Just the fulfillment and joy of taking somebody, like I say, a pie to their house. What's a pie? This cost me what? It costs two dollars a night, and it'll make this this uh, this lady's day. So, and like I say, don't only talk the talk, but walk the walk. It don't have to be something uh, material. You can do a word of encouragement and, and uplifting can help a person that's down on their luck. You would never even know. So anyway, um, um, what was I? I get to preaching, y'all. Forget what I was. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day, y'all. And I will see y'all in the next video. I love y'all. Bye.